hello everyone welcome back to Gina Biosense this is Suman and today we are going to discuss about a part B question of season at life sciences December 2018 so the question is about the membrane protein extraction so let's get started the question is detergents at low concentration generally do not denature proteins we know that for denaturation the detergent has to be at high concentration so <clears throat> because of that as it is in the low concentration it could be used for the extraction so for the extraction of protein it has to be in the folded and in the active form so the question is for the isolation of porins and uh, that is a <coughs> membrane protein and in the e coli membrane which one of the following purification approaches will be most appropriate so we need to find out the purification which one will be appropriate so first one is the use of low concentration of non-ionic detergent without salt second is the use of low concentration of ionic detergent third is use of salt solution containing non-ionic detergent third is use of salt solution containing ionic detergent so let me tell you let me tell you something about the ionic and non-ionic detergents first as it is a protein it first we need to separate it the protein from the lipids so in order to separate the protein from the lipids we need detergent so the question is will apply a ionic detergent or non-ionic detergent so generally the ionic detergent if we we'll use it will change the protein conformation how as it is a membrane protein it is only bound to the surface by the weak <coughs> forces that is the electrostatic forces and the forces and the hydrogen bonds so as there is electrostatic force if we we'll use the ionic detergent there will be change in the protein conformation so in this way you can skip two options that is option number two and option number four that is the use of low concentration of ionic detergent that is wrong and the fourth option the use of salt solution containing ionic detergent that is also wrong so <clears throat> in this manner we can conclude that in this question we need non-ionic detergent that will not hamper the protein conformation okay so detergent we have selected that is non-ionic detergent the next is we need salt or not <coughs> so for third uh, as we are looking for the purification of only the purin that is the membrane protein so we can <clears throat> exclude the salt part as the we are not considering about the peripheral proteins if you consider the peripheral proteins then we need to consider the salt so the option one that is the use of low concentration of non ionic detergent without salt will be the correct option so <clears throat> let's discuss about the ionic and the non ionic detergent names so the detergents that are divided into ionic that is example is sodium derotyl surplus other examples are the ctab chaps sodium deoxycolate and about the non ionic detergent that is triton x100 and nodidate p40 so in this question we are considering the non ionic detergent without salt So as you can see in this picture, porine is a <coughs> protein that is present in the E. coli membrane, outer membrane. It is present in the outer membrane. So in order to separate the protein from the lipid, first we need the detergent. Detergent will separate the protein from the lipid. If we will consider the peripheral proteins, then you need to add the salt. But in this case, we are not consider, considering the peripheral protein. So, there is no use of salt. Okay. 
so as you are considering the non ionic detergent there will be no change in the protein conformation and there will be no change in the electrostatic force property okay so this is all about the membrane protein extraction uh, as it is the protein it's present on the surface outer surface so it is normally associated with the electrostatic uh, attractions so if we'll use the ionic detergent there will be protein conformation null genes as it is as it will change the electrostatic property so you need to consider the non ionic detergent and in this case we are not considering the peripheral proteins that's why uh, there is no use of salt if we'll consider the peripheral protein as well then the option will be <coughs> the use of the option will be the third option the use of salt solution containing the non ionic detergent but in this in this case we are not considering the peripheral proteins and the correct option will be option 1 this is the use of low concentration of non ionic detergent without salt so this is all about the <coughs> membrane protein extraction so uh, let me briefly summarize about this so membrane bound proteins generally require <coughs> the extraction process that is uh, the extrinsic protein it is bound to the surface by the electrostatic and the hydrogen bonds and these proteins are more predominantly hydrophilic in nature and the detergent you can use is uh, the ionic and the non ionic detergents the ionic detergent that is sts and the non ionic detergent that is the titan x100 so this is all about the membrane protein extraction i hope it makes sense to you if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to this channel and please do not forget to share with your friends thank you